Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Sebring International Raceway. I'm here for the 12 hours of Sebring, and this is going to be a ton of fun. Uh, there's a lot of nice cars. We've got this uh, plane flying over because this race is about to start. I uh, way overslept. I was uh, out partying last night. Of course, that's what Sebring's all about. It's a huge, huge party with a race that happens to be going on. So I'm going to start by going over to Porsche Platz, which is the Porsche Corral. I'm going to be joining some friends along the way. I'm going to make some new friends along the way. And uh, we're going to have plenty of beer and, so uh, and burgers and all kinds of good stuff. So let's go out and have some fun. All right, so we made it to Porsche Platz. This is the Porsche Hospitality Tent. And before we get to the and before we get to the racing, I just wanted to walk through this and check out some of the beautiful Porsches that the owners have brought over. So here we got 911. Got a Porsche flag in my backpack. That's pretty cool. Uh, you know, all kinds of nice Cadillacs, Caymans. Here's a orange GT3. This is particularly rare because they only made so many 997 GT3 RSs, switching in this uh, this beautiful orange color. Take a look at it. It's not lava orange, this is his predecessor. Look at this thing. I haven't seen a 997 GT3 RS, and I believe the 997 GT3 RS comes standard with a carbon fiber hood. So to have a painted hood was actually the option. Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. This is not a real GT3 RS, and I'll tell you how I know. Right here, on real GT3s, this is a sticker. Because they're so obsessed with saving weight, they removed the shield badge and they put a sticker there. So for there to be a shield badge means this is not a real GT3 RS. This is a GT3 like tribute car or something that someone made. I mean, it's cool nonetheless. It's got the cage, it's got the uh, carbon fiber bucket seats. Um, just very odd that they would change every detail of the car except put the sticker badge on it. Here we have a beautiful, beautiful Porsche Cayman. I'm not sure, I don't think it's a GT4. I think it might just be a couple bits added on to it to make it look cooler, but uh, you left your trunk open, so hopefully nobody steals anything. All right, and here we have a true 991 GT3 RS in lava orange. And uh, this appears to be a Cayman GT4. I think this is Miami blue. I think this is Miami blue. Yes, yes, definitely. Oh, what a beautiful color. Over here, got the carbon trying brakes, the six piston calipers. Huge rear wing. Oh, maybe too much hard works a little bit. Center exit exhaust. With, of course, the vents to relieve high pressure air in the uh, fender for better lift. Better, uh, well, reduced lift and better uh, reduced drag. All right, I'm done showing you guys the highlights from Porsche Plots. Let's go check out some of the racing. So that was a little taste of turn one. Let's keep walking down the track. We're gonna find some more turns to uh, film from, some good vantage points. If I see any cool cars along the way that some of the fans have brought over, I can uh, check those out for you guys. So let's go have some fun. This is gonna be an awesome, awesome time. All right, I was not expecting to see this. A Citroen DS2. Look at this thing. Swing axle suspension. Oh, geez. Look at the interior. It's actually in very, very good shape. I don't know if it's uh, all original, if it's been restored, but it's, uh, I call it a DS2. No, it's a 2CV. I, should, I know this. 2CV6 Special. A DS2 is a, a much newer modern car. I must have gotten confused with a different Citroen. But it's a 2CV, of course.
Sebring Friars? Yes. The Sebring yes. Friars? Right. Sebring, uh, Sebring monks? Out, the, the, drunk, the drunk monks? The drunks? Oh, it's a video. Oh, a video. Yeah, yes. Okay. So you're on the video now. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Three, two, one. Holy shit. Yay. All right, well, I'm on my way to turn 10. See you guys. Yeah. Have fun. Hell yeah, brother. Raise hail. Hell yeah, raise hail, praise Dale. Raise hail. Yeah, brother. do it for Dale. Guys, check this thing out. Look at this thing. This came here all the way from, I think, Virginia? Uh, this is a BMW 2002. This is a classic 70s BMW. Take a look at the interior. Nice steering wheel. It's got the gauges there. Boy, I want to show you. This thing appears to have the engine out of an E30 M M3. This is the S14 engine. You can tell here, it says BMW Motorsports, so that's, the, that's how you... That's, this stood up to me immediately. Like, I'm so excited right now. Like, I'm stumbling over my words. This is so cool. You know, normally they just have these dinky little four cylinders. This has a, I believe, 240 horsepower, um, I think a two liter four cylinder engine. You can see the independent throttle bodies, the dual carburetors. This is just insane. I never, I would never have thought that I would see someone swap an S14, such a rare engine to begin with, into a 2002. I mean, wow, you know, got the uh, custom radiator hoses, battery over there. Um, the tie downs are literally zip ties, so that's a little sketchy, but otherwise, this is a fantastic build. This is very, very cool. Oh, All right, so, oh, wait, so I was I was just like checking out this car and the owner walked by. What's your name, buddy? Ray Junkins. What's, what's your name? Ray Junkins. Ray Junkins? Yeah. Ray Jenkins? Junkins. Junkins. Oh, cool. So I noticed, is that an S14 out of an E30 M3? S14 bottom end with the M10 top end. Really? With a lot of carbs on it. I, I can see that. So, S14 short block, M10 head. Yes. Any reason for that or why not? A, a, a... It's a 2.3. Okay. And I have an E30 M3, but I can't, they're too, they're too expensive now to yeah, sacrifice the engine. Yeah. So it's a, it's a, it's a 2.3, but a two valve engine with a lot of carbs. Okay, okay. Do you get more power doing that, or? Uh, the last we dyno, it's about 190 at the wheels. Oh, that's not bad. With this light, light car, this weighs like 20, what? 2,200 pounds. 2,200 pounds? Yeah. So they, basically, this is a Miata. It's basically a, if you think about it, I, look, this I, is... I, I think Miatas are great cars, but they should never be compared to something that's German. Oh, no, absolutely, absolutely. But weight-wise, this is basically a Miata with 200 horsepower. Um, it's lighter than a Miata. Yes, it is, actually. Well, well what was it, NA? NA's? Is... NA's? At their lightest, I think we're 2,300 pounds. So this is about an NA So this weight. is lighter than a Miata it's with more horsepower. 22, 2,250 roughly. This must be a fantastic car to drive. What it's do you have fun. done suspension wise? Uh, as far as you go without coilovers to not over the geometry, it's built, built Steam Sports all the way around, stage two springs. Okay, okay. So it's a limited slip in the rear, it's a five speed conversion. Oh, with, so with all that horsepower, I would want a limited slip to control all that power. We, uh, we drove it all the way down from Virginia. I see that. You guys came here from Virginia. Yes. So that's solid. That means that the build is reliable. You guys. It did was your, until your about yesterday when it wouldn't start. Hey, you know what? 
Classic cars, right? Classic cars. My, my life motto is there's always some BS happening, you know? We had about 20% of the wet paddock out here helping us fix it yesterday. Oh, wow. So it, we, we did plugs, we thought we washed cylinders, but it turned out the distributor cap was bad. Ah. About, I don't know, 100, hour, 100 hours of labor later, we figured it out. Hey, well, sometimes it's just that, you know, $5 part. Well, yeah, exactly, 20, but um, the camaraderie that we had here at Sebring is second to none. Absolutely. And everyone stopped by to try to help. Absolutely. People wanted to talk about the car more than help, but oh, yeah. everyone helped. Talk about the car, help, maybe grab a burger at turn 10 or something. Yeah. I love it. Have a great day. All right, buddy. Well, I'll catch you later. Um, Instagram handle is O2Fast, O2Furious. O2Fast, O2Furious. Yeah, tag Perfect, it. perfect. Have a good one. Catch you later, buddy. All right, guys. I was just hanging out at turn 10. I love the hospitality here. I got there. I was throwing a yingling, and I was like, hey, hey, we're serving food. You want a burger? So sat down, had a burger, had some chips. And uh, right now I'm heading over to our camp. I'm gonna grab a water and head over to the IMSA paddock to check out the race cars. Check out their uh, their pit area, well, not the pit area, the paddock area. See the cars being worked on, so on and so forth. It's really, really cool. There's always so much happening over there. Actually, so I ended up stopping at camp for uh, an hour or two, took a shower over at the showers down there, and uh, just took a nap because, man, it's been a few days of partying. It's a lot of walking. My feet and legs hurt a lot, so. I want you all to know that today's video is made possible by Ibuprofen. Uh, if it wasn't for the miracle of Ibuprofen, we probably wouldn't be here today. So, salute to you, uh, whoever invented Ibuprofen. All right, so my buddy Miguel told me that uh, the underpass where the bridge is to cross over from Midway Drive into the Green Park, into uh, General Parking, is uh, it's covered in dust, right? So the, the, the road there is covered in dust. And so as the cars go through, they lose a little bit of track. A lot of fun, so we're gonna check it out. LMP2 car. I believe they use Orica chassis, so there's a kind of a spec spec racing series within the racing series, so it's very, very cool. Here they have all the bodywork taken off. Not sure what they're working on. Something might be broken, so they got it all taken apart, and they got the this guy's draining like a looks like an oil cooler. Hmm, not sure what happened, but we can take a look at all this beautiful carbon fiber. Look at this. So this includes the barge board. The side vents, the side pods, everything, it's just one, you know, I don't think it's a solid piece, it might be several pieces bonded together, but, you know, you got a problem, you can just unbolt it and change the whole side of the car. Of course, you got the wing there, the rear bumper, all those panels there. The whole car is carbon fiber, of course, to make it as light as possible. Here's the rear wing, they got a spare. Looks so, so both cars are in. Look at this. All very cool. All just pulls together. 
Here's the front end. You can see the splitter, headlights. So fun fact, they actually aim the headlights off to the side slightly because they figure front visibility is going to be pretty good regardless. And they'd rather be able to have uh, better turn-in and corner visibility so they can hit those apexes really, really nice. And uh, of course, that's the tow hook right there. That's where the car is actually towed from. So this is not just, I believe, I believe, this is not just a cosmetic front end, like an aerodynamic front end, but this is actually, might even be part of the chassis of the car. You can see it, it bolts in right here and bolts to, uh, to the front end of the chassis right there. And to be able to lift on the car, right from this point, this has to be a pretty strong piece. So that's pretty impressive. So I realized something as we were looking at the Alpine car. Alpine wouldn't be racing in IMSA, that's a WEC car. And I just realized we're not in the IMSA paddock, we're in the WEC paddock. The IMSA paddock is way, way down there, so we're going that way now. All right, so we got Team RLL, their BMW GTP car here. Look at this thing. Here we go. How much bigger are they gonna make the kitty grills? I mean, seriously. Look at that. They're huge. But it's very cool nonetheless. I'm glad to see that BMW is actually back to racing and uh, racing in their hypercar series and uh, GTP and all that stuff. So, you know, before BMW used to be a lot about racing and they just kind of pulled out of it, you know, like at least prototype racing. They were doing a lot of, uh, you know, GT3, GT4 cars and all that stuff, but they just they weren't really into prototypes. So I'm glad to see a prototype here from BMW. Came out to the area where they keep the safety cars. They actually have here a Lamborghini Huracan STO. Beautiful Porsche 911. This is the IMSA safety car, this Cadillac. I think it's a CT4 or CT5B. I'm not entirely sure. Let's take a look at the back. It is pretty long, so it might be a CT5B. Makes sense too. It's a flagship car. Yep, CT5B Blackwing. Look at that. So, yeah, the, the guy driving this is having a ride, basically having a, a track day while all the, um, <laughs> all the L GTP, GTD, and GTD Pro cars following behind. Beautiful blue color too. And here we have an AMG GTS. Very nice. Oh, they're here promoting the AMG Driving Academy. So there's that. And a couple of Lexuses. Lexi. Let's take a closer look at this. this so it turns out this is not a GTS, it's actually a GTR. Carbon fiber wing in the back. Carbon fiber roof. Very, very nice. Beautiful track car. Carbon fiber here, carbon fiber there, carbon fiber everywhere. All right, so check out some of the racing. Got some, uh, got some food. Uh, got a. Uh, you gotta love the hospitality of all the uh, all the people here at Sebring. So you know, you you walk around, talk to a few people. Some of them just like hand you a beer. You know, it's like here, have a beer. You know? <laughs> this is so. I, I just love coming here. It's just so different from from the like, real world. You know, the, in real life, people are. You know, sometimes tend to be kind of mean you know it's hard to find people that are just cool but here at Sebring pretty much everyone's cool pretty much everyone is just chill and just wants to come out and have a good time you know and uh, that's, what, that's what I love about being here so heading back to camp we're gonna have some uh, some dinner or lunch or dinner or something I don't know and uh, we're gonna have some, we're gonna see what's going on and here we have some more Sebring shenanigans it's a Bud Light and Coors Light Christmas tree Look at that. Did you guys drink all these? Just that guy. Just that guy drank all of them. <laughs> all you.